My name's Toby Davidson and I'm the Toby of the Toby brand. And we're here today to talk about cooking greens and we're here with Kara Rosenblum. Hi. Welcome Kara. Thank you. Kara is our dietitian and she's here to answer a lot of questions about why dark, le dark leafy greens are, are good for us. So Kara, before we get we even move on, why are dark leafy greens good for us? Sure, happy to answer that question. Canada's Food Guide actually recommends that we get a serving of greens in our diet every single day. They are a source of amazing vitamins that are antioxidant like vitamin A and vitamin C. They're also a good source of calcium and iron and they're full of fiber and all that comes at just 30 calories per cup. So they're really healthy for so many reasons and a really important part of the diet. So, that, you know, there's one other question that comes up all the time. We're going to do a recipe that the family likes and we want to add the greens into it. But a lot of people believe that frozen isn't as good as fresh. Can you just comment a little bit about why sure. on that? Why that's not true? Sure. Yeah, frozen vegetables are actually sometimes more nutritious than fresh, fresh vegetables. Fresh ones are often picked, packed, and shipped great distances. And by the time they end end up in your refrigerator or on your table, it's been about two weeks, so the, the vitamins and minerals have degraded over time. On the other hand, frozen vegetables are picked and frozen at the peak of nutritional perfection. So the nutrients are at their highest when they're frozen and that's what you end up eating and taking in. So what we're going to do is we're trying to get easy, convenient ways to get cook, uh, greens into the diet and get kids to eat greens. So what we've done is we picked a recipe, turkey meatloaf with kale. You can actually substitute in other greens, but we picked kale for this mm -hmm. and we picked turkey. Why is turkey a good choice for the protein? Well, turkey is very lean, so it's got a lot of protein in it for a small amount of fat so it's a really healthy option from the meat and alternative food group. Great so what we're going to do is we're quickly going to put all the ingredients into the bowl and get it going and I do have to say to the viewers that all of our recipes are available on our website at www.cookinggreens.com and they're all done properly. Today we're just going to show you uh, uh, how they're assembled and then talk a little bit more about the health attributes with, with Kara here. So we have our, our turkey here then we've got our diced onions and we have our breadcrumbs, one egg, adds a little bit more protein to it. Then we have chopped celery, again, a little bit more vegetables into it. And that's the great thing about adding vegetables in, something like kale or celery that's in there. For children who don't love eating the vegetables that are on the side of their plate, at least you know they're getting some because they're gonna eat their meatloaf. Yeah, exactly. And I always say to have, I always say it's a good idea to serve vegetables as side dishes as well, always. You want to fill half the plate with vegetables. But for those who don't eat it, you're gonna sneak some in as well. So it's vegetables exactly. two ways, beside it and right in it. Exactly. So what we've done here is we always have cooked kale in our household. We have different greens actually so that we can do different recipes but we have what we have here is the kale and we're simply going to put the cooking greens kale right into the recipe. Look how beautiful is that starting to look. Then we're going to add some liquid just to thin it out a little bit and then we have our lovely spices. Here we are, let's put those in. Salt and some other spices. A little bit of pepper and of course at the very end we can't forget our garlic. Garlic always is healthy and adds a lot of flavor. So there we go. How long did that take? Just a minute or okay, two. Okay, so really here quick. we are. We're going to blend it all up. So really what we're trying to do is take everyday recipes, add a greens to it that you wouldn't even think of. So meatloaf, hamburgers, um, you know, there's chili. There's so many other ways we can do it. So all we're simply going to do is put it into our well-greased pan. And how long does it bake for? It's going to bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay. Pat it down. This would serve four people nicely. And we're going to top it off with Dijon mustard to add flavor. It's kind of classical to a to a meatloaf. And then we're going to put some shredded cheddar cheese on it. Just to, kids love the cheese, and it adds some color to it as well. And the Dijon mustard really, it isn't a, fl uh, a hot one. It's just more one to add a bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's optional too. It's something that you don't really have to put on. So I'm going to put it in the oven again for at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And there it is. Ta-da! Doesn't that look wonderful? Fabulous. Our kale and turkey meatloaf with a bit of Dijon mustard and some melted cheddar cheese on top of it. So let me just walk you through the rest of the meal that the family is going to enjoy. We have our designer's mix as a side dish here that we simply made with garlic, olive oil and some sea salt and I put in some sun-dried tomatoes. And then of course potatoes. Every kid loves potatoes. So we've made a curry greens potato with garlic and olive oil and a little bit of sea salt and we use two different um, greens this time. We use rapini and spinach 
in with the Yukon Gold potatoes. So here you have, you have great visual, great taste. So Kara, tell us about the healthy part of this though. Sure. The balanced meal. What I really love about this meal is you're gonna be serving vegetables as a side dish, but you're also having vegetables right in the meatloaf and you have them right in the potatoes. So you've got vegetables every which way. So there's no way not to get enough vegetables when you're eating this meal. And that's a really important part of when you're plating. You always wanna have about half the plate filled with vegetables, a quarter filled with protein, and a quarter filled with some starch, and you've got a perfectly proportioned meal. Good, this is fabulous. We really want the family to eat healthy, to eat together, and this is a great solution using cooking greens. Cooking greens is, is available in local supermarkets. Our URL for our website is www.cookinggreens.com. Kara, thank you so much for coming My today pleasure. and telling thank us you. about all the health stuff. Thank you, audience.